back to my channel. This is Rim from Rim's Artsy Vibes and I am back with yet another video as promised last week. Come guys, uh, join me. I am going to do a very intricate landscape thing. Uh, you know, landscape has always been my forte and I love doing landscapes and this time uh, I am going to paint some beautiful greenery with these poster colors. Anyways guys, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is a set of 12 colors that also comes with a brush. The quality of the brush is also pretty good, I must say. Look at these small pretty bottles. So cute, isn't it? So today I am using a 300 GSM watercolor paper. I basically use these papers for watercolor as well as acrylic colors and almost for everything because of the thickness and because of the texture of the paper these are just my absolute favorite so anyways let's come to our topic for today uh, as i have already mentioned i'm going to do a landscape today and i'm going to use different shades of green here uh, and also yellow as well so please stay with me guys to see how i paint this landscape today and how it finally turns out so let's talk about poster paints today. Uh, this is probably the first time that I am using poster paint as a medium for my art video for this channel. I obviously used poster colors before, especially during my school days. Uh, poster colors used to be my absolute favorite. As you all know, I love working with opaque colors and as poster colors also give the same effect and also they are very inexpensive, which is why every student absolutely loves them, especially the ones who love to work with opaque colors or opaque mediums. Actually, these poster colors are uh, a type of watercolors only. Uh, both poster colors and gouache are types of watercolors which is made in the same way as watercolor. It contains a pigment blended with a binder as well as white paint to make it opaque. Poster colors and gouache are pretty similar. Uh, both of them are opaque watercolors you can say. Uh, but poster colors have a larger pigment. Moreover, the pigments used in poster colors are comparatively larger or I can say it is the largest out of watercolor and gouache and therefore creates a very opaque result. And generally speaking, the pigments, binders and additives used in watercolors and gouache are superior in quality which makes it more expensive than the poster colors. And that's the reason why poster colors are much cheaper than the other two. It won't be possible for me to explain the differences between all these three types of colors in the single video. And so I'm planning to do a separate video on this topic very, very soon. Till then, please keep enjoying today's video. You should always remember something while painting with poster colors uh, is that poster colors are basically water based. They are opaque but still they are uh, modified forms of watercolor. So this always has to be kept in mind while applying the second layers of your painting. First of all you should always apply the second layer only after the first layer completely dries up. And secondly, you should always use a thicker paint or a thicker layer of paint while doing the second layer. At this stage, I'm sure you won't be able to find out any difference between an acrylic painting and a poster color painting because you know the application of colors is almost the same. Uh, although we always develop the painting from dark to light, uh, but it's also possible to uh, apply the light colors first and then the dark colors just like in watercolor. So in a similar way, in poster painting also, you can use both the techniques. Here I am going from light to dark colors, but I repeat, you can definitely go the opposite way as well. Wow. 
one very interesting fact about these poster colors at least it is very fascinating for me because i work mainly with acrylics is that uh, they are water soluble so you can basically reactivate the colors after they get dried up which is absolutely impossible in case of acrylics so there is always lesser wastage I also feel that the blending of colors in case of poster colors is much easier than that in acrylics because the main problem with acrylics is that the paint dries up really fast and you have to be very fast with your painting process otherwise uh, the paint dries up and uh, the entire paint gets wasted and this is the same reason why blending becomes a challenge I am loving the clarity of the details guys. It's been very very long that I did any landscape painting and I am thoroughly enjoying this. And I'm already in love with the painting guys. I'm sure it is going to be one of my most favorite paintings in my recent times. It's so refreshing to change your color medium once in a while. I'm loving these colors and the process so much that I am planning to do some more paintings in the recent times with these poster colors. gradually adding some more details here with more layers of colors and yes friends if you are new to painting never hesitate to try out new techniques and mediums who knows you might be just a few steps away from creating a masterpiece you just need to win over that sense of fear and the sense of hesitation to reach your goal and never hesitate to make mistakes in painting because you know guys there are no mistakes in painting they are just happy accidents <laughs> And it's done now guys take a closer look at all the details there is and will always be a lot of room for improvement tell me in the comment section down below how you find today's painting let's remove the masking tape from all the four sides this is so relaxing for me to remove the masking tape I just don't know why I find it so relaxing do tell me uh, whether you find it equally relaxing to remove the masking tape from your paintings.
I hope you liked today's video and if you really did then please don't forget to give a thumbs up keep motivating me and support me as much as you can guys and if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yes please don't forget to click on the bell notification to keep track of all the new videos that I keep uploading on my channel every week Please share it with your friends and family and help me get some more subscriptions guys. And if you have any new ideas for me then please feel free to comment down below. Uh, I will be more than happy to work on these exciting new ideas guys. It really motivates me to do some more interesting work. And yes guys I am also there on Instagram. My Instagram handle is rims underscore artsy underscore vibes. And my Facebook page is rims artsy vibes. So I hope you follow me there as well. I'll be back with another video next week. Till then, keep painting and keep enjoying your art journey. Bye.